The father of a cyclist who was killed near Tower Bridge on Friday has said politicians should be ashamed of themselves for not making cycle safety a priority. It follows a London Assembly meeting yesterday which had to be abandoned after Conservative members walked out over a separate row just before cycling was due to be discussed. Sixteen cyclists have died on the capital's roads this year. Mark Ashdown has more. Eleanor Carey, known as Ellie, will be remembered as compassionate and caring, always wanting to help. Her death on Friday again raised the need for an urgent debate on cycling safety. It was on the agenda for the London Assembly yesterday, until this happened. As the Conservative members once again walk out of the chamber... Every Conservative walked out, the debate abandoned. It's left Ellie's father confused and frustrated. I find it very disappointing and I find it hard to understand why, if you like, rather petty political bickering should somehow stop debate on safety for cyclists taking place. Um, I'm a bit stronger than that. I think it's pretty disgraceful. And those who are responsible, I think, should be thoroughly ashamed of themselves. I thought walking out was very childish. I thought it meant that we couldn't discuss an incredibly important topic. And I deeply regret it. And I, I generally thought they were going to stay so that we could have the debate. The Conservatives say there's been a consistent campaign to deny them full representation and this was just the latest protest. We don't do this lightly um, and indeed on the issue of cycle safety, as a regular cyclist I commute to work on a bicycle uh, most days. I do take this very, very seriously as, as does the group. This is the second time though Conservatives have walked out ahead of a cycling debate, is that a coincidence? Uh, we've, we've walked out on a number of occasions uh, in the past. Um, when a cycling motion has been uh, on the order paper, it's gained much more publicity, but it has absolutely not been about the cycling. Not much comfort to those 16 grieving families. They want road safety top of the agenda. It perhaps doesn't feature as hard as it should do, which I find very sad, very distressing, and I really think that policy should be readdressed and dealt with urgently. It will now be tabled for debate at Mayor's Questions, as long as everyone turns up. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.